After nearly three months of a complete lockdown, Rasij Deir land crossing between Libya and Tunisia will finally reopen. The vital crossings lockdown caused the paralysis in trade and flow of citizens between the two countries, leading to thousands from both sides losing their jobs. This weekend, Libyan authorities announced a partial resumption of operations at the crossing. Humanitarian cases and emergency evacuation will only be allowed when Rasij Deir resumes on Thursday, June 20. This comes as the interior ministers of Libya and Tunisia signed the operational agreement this week. Trade between Libya and Tunisia through that crossing will not resume yet, mainly because it was the reason why Ras al-Jdeir was shut down in the first place. This is the biggest land crossing between the two countries. About five to 10,000 people cross through Ras al-Jdeir daily. The unofficial trade represents 80% of the trade going through this crossing. It has become a conflict between militias because smuggling of goons, fuel, arms or human trafficking takes place there and that brings great economic power to anyone who controls it. Rivalry between Libya's western-based militia groups has seen several clashes inside the Ras Deir crossing this year. The most violent was on the 19th of March. Back then, militants engaged with the government officials in what appeared to be a struggle over imposing their authority at the land crossing. The governments of Libya and Tunisia then agreed to shut it down, fearing the safety of civilians. The Tunisian Human Rights Agency estimates that illegal payments enforced by militias for their control over Ras Deir for all illicit trading could amount to up to 30 million US dollars annually. That makes it challenging for the Libyan government to keep these armed groups away from another attempt of seizing the crossing. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.